It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, outstanding, amazing. Official Mr. Maker, what's going on? Not, not my dad walk on. Man, hey man, this is a day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and exactly. be glad in it. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> <laughs> Check it, man. So we got a special guest here today, man. Uh, this guy right here, man, I've been trying to get on the show for weeks now. You know, and every time he was so busy, couldn't make it. Well, we got him in here today, guys. We just going to love on him for a little man. bit, man. Check it out. My boy Vincent Grimes in the building. What's going on, man? What's going on, man? Man, How you doing? man, I'm chilling, man. What's what about up? yourself? I'm doing pretty good. I'm yeah. doing pretty good. Yes, sir. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing, yeah. the thing I, I, I say, man, is um, I heard about the what, what you're doing, and I think it's outstanding and amazing as well. well you know what I'm saying? Yes, uh, the thing I want to say is, man, um, I've had a few people on here that has had situations with visuals where they try, they creating different things. Right. So, you know, uh, when I heard about yours, I was like, man, we got to get him on here. We had C. James on here. Mm-hmm. We had the actor, uh, uh, what's his name? Antonio. Antonio Diego on here. Yeah, we tapping into that world. You know what I'm talking already, about? That's so, man. World. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Everybody, that, and we was on a couple of episodes already, too. We was on Corey, Fame. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, this okay. show was on Famous. that. Famous. Famous. Okay. And then we was on, uh, also on uh, uh, Breakfast Brothers. Breakfast Brothers, Ricky Booker. Okay. We was on on his channel as well. Uh, okay. uh, what was it a cooking channel? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So man, uh, it's been good. I mean, uh, we just drove up in this thing about six months ago. That's how we've been running. You keep saying six months ago, but time but now seven. Is, it's actually more than seven. Is it eight? In January, and we're in September. So well, that's I nine, keep months. nine months. Nine months. So no. you have to stop saying six months. <laughs> you know a checkmate. <laughs> like our son be doing uh-huh. checkmate. You right. So nine months. Nine months. Time flying by. Huh? Time flying because you be working and we did all that travel. I think after we did that travel because we took the show on the road. Oh, we yeah. went to Cali, Vegas, and uh, Atlanta. Okay. First time getting out of the studio to oh, do that. Ain't playing with Man, come on, bro. We different. We <laughs> right my, my daughter say we built different. You yeah. know what right I'm talking on, about? Right built on. like that. Yeah, built like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so so like so man, uh just to get into it a little bit, tell us just tell us a little I know you from Dallas. Right on, um, right on. What 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 um just where you, you grew up at? Yeah, where you grew up at uh, and did you always want to be in this industry? Uh, not, not, not at first. I was, uh, in, in the rap industry at first, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But, uh, I kind of floated Ooh. over to that. Uh, I started. Why does everybody bars? start up in the rap industry? Why? Got bars? Right. I had a little boss back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> back in my day, I had a little boss and, uh, we actually started, uh, doing comedy shows at first. Mm-hmm. And I was, Roy Lee was one of my main comedians I was dealing with. And uh, he passed, so we felt like this would be a good opportunity to uh, go ahead and uh, make him a legend, go ahead and make him live forever, you know what I mean? So that's where the documentary came from. So you never did one before this? No, this is my first That's what I'm talking about, man. Yes, so, so, But that inspired you to do this? Yes, yes, that inspired me to do this. Uh, just dealing with Roy Lee and being close to him, I felt like it was an uh, important documentary that had to be done. So, How do you I, like it so far? Uh, this documentary. Have you finished dope. it? Or yeah, we uh pretty much finished. We just doing the uh the narration parts to it right now. But all the film and all the editing and everything is done. How long did it take you? Uh, this documentary took me three years to make. Three so, years. Yeah, we've been grinding with this for three years. Where did you find? Of course, you could probably say YouTube, but where did you find the know how of? Because you've never done it before, right. of how to do this and do it efficiently. Because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who are teaching you, but yeah. it's not always the best route to go. Uh, I would uh, say that Jeff Adair, he he's a... Uh, Shout out yeah. Jeff Adair. Yeah, yeah. He, Jeff Adair been holding my hand through this whole oh, process. Oh, that's awesome. Right. Uh, Real Life Street Stars Joker. Okay. He's been holding my hand through the whole Shout process. Shout out to Real Life Street so, Stars. So, yeah, I had them film it, Jeff edited, and we kind of just putting it together. Uh, I'm kind of directing it, and, and uh, I'm the over- executive producer. I look at the final product and... Make sure it's what I feel like it, it'll be good, and then we we'll go forward. So everything it. is mainly so, your idea. Yeah, yeah, and it's mo- mainly of, my ideas and uh, what I uh, think should happen. You know what I mean? They kind of make it happen. So how much of his life are you portraying in? Because I know that in a documentary, just like when we watch documentaries of anybody else, they can't tell everything because you can only fit it into some, you know, mm-hmm. a small amount of time. How long right. will your documentary fit be? And how much of his life are you putting in there? Well, we're going with the whole life and uh, everything. Yeah, everything. And uh, 
well, as much as we can get in there. We starting from his uh, childhood till the time he died. Who, so, who? Um, go ahead. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's like an hour and fifteen minutes long. Oh, okay. Who who pretty much uh, gave you the, a lot of the information that you didn't have? Who who do you, how did you uh, get that information? His family, his family, mother, and yeah, yeah. mother, sister, uh, his baby mother. They all are uh, big parts of helping me create this documentary. So uh, they lent a hand. Uh, the city of Dallas, uh, pretty much every rapper from South Dallas all the way to North Dallas, uh, they they lent a hand on uh, what happened. Uh, the documentary is. Based on, on based on his uh, life, but the chain of events that happened, we all are from Dallas, so we can uh, have our opinion about what happened as well. And, and uh, we just basically bounced. So y'all did put the from, parts in there where y'all feel felt what stirred it in the way that, that caused him to come to his demise, or y'all didn't go all the way into it. Uh, we left that open for everybody. Okay. We just did our journalistic homework and just this is what happened. This is what happened. This is the what facts. happened. The facts. And um, like this, you can that he getting shot. That's in there. Oh yeah, the, the, okay. The car he got shot in is in is there. in there. Yeah, yeah. Everything is. We didn't miss nothing. So uh, all of that is in there. Uh, we discuss uh, all the wild things he went through in his life, fights in the club, wild women. Uh, all that is in there. It's uh, uh, we probably ain't missing nothing as far as the action. And yeah, yeah, because it was very obvious what was going on. You couldn't yeah, miss it. Yeah, yeah, you can't miss it. It's all over line, and uh, how he felt is over line. So, did you get the part in that way? He, he told uh, Boosie he looked like a, a PT crew. Well, Boosie told him <laughs> he looked like he looked a like a PT crew. crew. So <laughs> yes, that sir. part's in there. <laughs> Most definitely. It's yeah, and then, we ain't then he came back on and he said, "Boosie, nigga, you can't. You like me? We both ugly. Right, right. Yeah, mm-hmm. I remember and, it. And we even got uh, in there where Boosie and him met after that. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, that's dope. Up and that's you dope. know, it's all love, yeah. It was all love, yeah. it was just something that they were messing around on. Yeah, that's how yeah, it go, you know. Joking. Him and Boosie were actually uh, good, friends. good they friends, cool. yeah, that's right. Cool. I seen that, yeah. yeah I liked so. it too, man. That's a good, that's the way it's supposed to be, yes, you know sir. what I mean. So, did you have to get anything in writing to say that you have permission to do this documentary on his life from family members and yes, stuff like that? that uh, something similar to just the, uh, the thing the I signed form, when yeah. I walked in, yeah. right? right. <laughs> the picture release forms, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yes. And, and, and do you have to get um, that for each person that you put in the film? Yes, yes, yes. you know what I mean? Because yep. all these other people you're interviewing, right? Everybody in there got has to sign, has one. to sign yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. So with with the controversy, I'm always I'm from the outside looking in. Mm-hmm. It seemed as if he had a beef with uh, certain individuals. Uh, Yellow and all type is that stuff in there or no? Uh, yeah, that's definitely yellow. Uh, uh, I I say yellow. That's the only one I can remember. I'm mm-hmm. always saying that it was uh they had issues and a right. fight and they they wanted to fight for uh, uh money. I believe it was right. right. Uh, Roy Lee wanted to. I don't know the yeah. whole story. Yeah, I, and I, rock, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I rock with yellow. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I rock because yeah, this too. Dallas yeah. man and uh I love everybody, bro. Mm-hmm. I, I like to always say on the show. You know, you'll see different people on this platform because. We got to, at some point, as older men, right. I'm an older cat, we got to find ways to bridge those gaps. You know what I mean? Right. So I always... And try to bring people together. Well, you, you got to. Right. If you, it, I mean, even if it's going to be... it's Man, listen, man. It's been up and down, back and forth with everybody. Not just those individuals, but mm-hmm. I've had issues with people. Right. This is something that happens, but we are... The ones that are here still, mm-hmm. we can find a way to try to figure out a way to bring people together. Most and definitely. and it's going to take guys like you and myself. Most definitely. Level, level-headed guys that love everybody, right. that don't have no ill will, right. trying to come up with some kind of way to keep negativity going. Oh, right. We're not doing that. Oh, not at Boss Talk oh, 101. Oh, 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 yeah. No, it's straight love yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah. Yes, sir. You know yes, what I'm sir. saying? So, and and, and uh, unlike others... I'm willing to step up and say something to whoever and say, hey, man, we love you because right, I lead right. it with love. Right, most definitely. You know most what I mean? Definitely. That's what a, that's and, what I help bridge the gap. And I feel like, you know, the, the documentary uh, will show a lot of that, 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 that we had a lot of love for Roy Lee. He had a lot of love for our community, and he we don't want to isolate him just to that one thing. You know what I mean? Because uh, more than anything, he ha- in the documentary, you'll see he had a lot going on. It, I know y'all saying that Yellow Bees had something to do with it, 
But it was a few things that happened right before he died that ain't nobody really talking about. Yeah, ain't nobody about. talking yeah. about yeah. it. We light. Might That's wanna, good. So it yeah. bring light to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's we good. might want to revisit that. that. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and also, but, That's a so good that's a good have subject. have to watch the documentary to the find out The documentary is going to be dope. Okay. If y'all don't watch oh, yeah. it, y'all this, finna lose out, man. Uh, we can cuss on here. This, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah this man. Real, this some real Triple D shit right here. Already. Like, it's I going just, down. Yeah, yeah. I just want to say that without, you know, saying too much. But yeah. Yeah. This Who's right narrating here, it? Uh, Charlie Moore, Charlie Mo from uh, Real Life Street Stars. Okay. okay. He's narrating Charlie the whole Moore. film. So, yeah, and yes, you basically, when you, when you doing it, when Charlie Moe's narrating is coming to him, is he on the visuals of it? And uh, don't he, give he's away. He's not the, on the visuals. But just he's just vocal. talking yeah, it through. Just, okay. just talking it through. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Already, uh -huh. man. I can't wait to see it, man. So, when is it? When did the release date? Uh, October the 11th. We, uh, that's, October, right that's right around the corner, baby. Yeah, in a few weeks. And yeah. where? Texas Theater. The premiere will be shot. Oh, so we get to come? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, he gonna get can us people in go thing. online to buy the tickets Eventbrite, or just come? Yeah, yes, sir. You, I'm just mad. You can buy the tickets on Eventbrite or you can come and they $25 at the door. Yeah, yeah. How I'm many people you know I mean? can fit in the theater? 564 people. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. You yeah. gonna pack it out? Yeah, oh, it's gonna, gonna pack. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be packed. That's why I'm trying to get so VIP. Is it nigga. Only nigga, I want VIP, nigga. Don't <laughs> leave me in the back. I'm gonna be uh, back really. there like this. Say, look here, my nigga Wilson. I'm over here, baby. <laughs> right on. Uh, so don't leave me in the back. Don't, don't leave me in the back. Put it on my calendar. Put it on the calendar. It's at eight o'clock. Doors open at eight o'clock. So film starts at eight thirty. Oh, the show starts at eight thirty. I'm sorry. I have a. We have a special performance from Celebrity before the movie. Celebrity, the comedian, is going to do one quick set before we start the movie. Okay, so, that's why it's at 8. Yeah, that's why it's at 8, but the show starts at 8.30. The movie starts at 8. And I'm okay. invited, and I'm yes, VIP. Sir. Oh, yeah, send me your email. I'm going to send you I'm tickets. VIP. Uh, I just want you to know that. I'm a newfound celebrity in my own mind. They might not mind. even have right. a VIP <laughs> section. From, they're going to have everybody. No, 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 no. You get to go up to the front. <laughs> don't they, tell him that. Yeah, don't do that. I get to go to the front. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> October the 11th Oh yes, that's on a Monday Yes ma'am At 8 Well yes, I'm gonna be there I ain't got nothing to yes, do on Monday <laughs> <laughs> Bible study Well we gonna have Bible study in the parking lot <laughs> <laughs> Right <laughs> And uh, that that'll be uh, that's his memorial as well. Wow, that's that'll be the anniversary of him uh, passing as well. Wow, so, so Mo, Mo three uh, and him was had a unique relationship. Is that in the documentary? That's in there as well. Cause yes, he, sir. Yes, sir. I seen him after his passing. I seen some things transpire in him toward mm -hmm. that fact, and a lot of the videos and stuff that he created alluded to the fact of certain right. things, the way he seen it. Right. And, and and yeah. and the thing you gotta realize is, you can't depict Roy Lee if you don't depict that part. Right, right. You know right. what I mean? Yeah, yeah you have to. Yeah, because uh, of the video, the, the church, yeah, you know what I mean? That church, whole, that church video. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, take you to church. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, sir, yes, sir. I'll let's in there, and uh, we got a few things of uh, Mo3 or how he felt uh, about what was going on as well. So he was, he was some, some time where he got vocal about what he felt. Yeah, yeah. Mostly. Okay. So you being a first time um, documentary individual, mm -hmm. I know executive, that executive producer. Yeah, producer. let's get it popping. So right. I know that you have people <laughs> holding your hand, but from your perspective, how easy is it to do or hard is it to do something like this uh, for a person who like, don't know I anything? I feel like well. I feel like it's kind of difficult to do it, but as I've done completed this first one, the bug is beating me. I'm already working on another one. You know what I mean? So, another oh, one yeah. for him or another uh, one for somebody well, else? Uh, for another another oh, thing that okay. uh, we had going on. So you're but, thinking to go into movies or just stick straight to documentary? Yeah, I'm writing a movie right now. So I uh, downloaded a, uh, uh, the little script program. Hey, program look here. To your, your, boy, your boy done got on TV. <laughs> okay. Your boy been practicing. Right on. You know, hey. Oh, he's trying right. to give you. Look, let me show you. There. Let That's me give right. you a little bit of it. I'm going to send you a script. Yeah. 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 Close that door. Oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, right, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. For so sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get in that thing. Yeah. So oh, you want me? Oh, because I've say, seen... bro, get in, the, get in the car. We got to go. You know, that's acting. <laughs> right, you right. don't know it's acting, but it really is going down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's get back to this. So, but, um, because I've watched, you know, when you watch documentary on TV, like, um, right. on what documentary comes on when they're talking about like, on the news and they're talking about different well you know a guy? documentary that we was introduced to the not other that, night not, not, I'm getting to that okay. but hold on so on television they have really good you know narrators and you know documentary right. like detail description of you know different research that they've done and so forth right. how 
from a one to ten, comparing yours to something like that, right? How would that's, you compare yours? That's what I. That's what I would give. I would want you guys to expect to see when you come to see my film. Like it's gonna be very. We gonna professional. rate you. We yeah, rate, rate you, me and let me know. And this, even but even you, if you don't give me a ten, I understand that this is. Or you, you guys should understand that this is not my first. This is not my last but film. Me, right, I but, yeah, right, but let me, let me I may get no, better. No, but, but, but how do you? But how do you rate yourself? I know I, that, uh, and be totally honest. Right, right, right. I feel like that this film is gonna be. Be. Up to par, yeah. It's Up gonna to be par. professional as far as the narration, as far as the uh, cameras we use, the cameras, uh, the the transitions, yeah, the, the audio, is, the audio. Yeah. All For me, that. I knew it was gonna I'm be probably good because you use Jeff Adair, yeah, right? Yeah. I, so this I know because he is, does really good work. Yes, yes, yes. So that's the thing. Like I was so so impressed by Jeff Adair that he he's gonna have it right, right. Mm. So I'm well, not worried wait, about let anything. Let me just, let me just say this: it, it's gonna be very. Are you over his shoulder looking at everything that he does? Yeah. When I yeah. say that, because if you're moving on later on doing another film and maybe he's busy or you can't use him, you right. need to know what to expect what from to, somebody else and right. what yeah. to do from right. what not right. to do. Most definitely. And yeah. Delphidur is giving me that blueprint to follow just okay. in case. But... I ain't gonna really stir away from Jeff Adair. I'm no, I don't blame you. <laughs> I, think I don't I'm blame you. Call right Annie a white boy, ain't he? Yeah, he a white boy. See, yeah, that's boy. good. Anytime yeah. you put a nigga with a white boy, <laughs> some good. Oh yeah, you see, I can give you examples. Uh, uh, that's uh, Jim Iovine and Dr. Dre. Right, right, um, right, right. Give me some more. Uh, <laughs> Steve Madden and uh, Irv Gotti. Right. Yeah, right, they did right, some shoe stuff together. <laughs> I can keep going. You want to keep going? It's some more. Uh, uh, Michael Jordan and, Michael and, Jordan Phil, and, and Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson. There you go. Yeah, yeah. You put a black man and a white man together and you it's can knock some doors down. down. You know what I'm talking about? You, can't, you don't know how to come at them. Mm. <laughs> right now. Nah, uh, <laughs> Better than America. It's, it's, the it's melting definitely going to be a, a, a Dallas classic. Something that everybody's going to want to see. If you're from Dallas, uh, you're definitely going to check this out. And what, what we want to show, too, he had fans in Cleveland. Like, he had a big following in Cleveland. Uh, the guy who put the movie out, uh, Rent Due, mm -hmm. and he had well, he has a movie that's coming out uh, in a few months called uh, Legit Paper. Okay. And uh, it got a lot of uh, main celebrities in there. This guy here, his name, his name is Ray Jr., he does a lot of films up top, and uh, he had he was big about. So people. you've been working together with him? Yeah, yeah. Been, he's okay. on he's on the documentary as well. Okay. So cool. all those things of uh the films that Roy Lee is in that'll be inside of there just to show you that he was a legend on the way. He was definitely on his way to making it big. Let me so, tell you something, man. I seen him, and when I seen him, I felt good about the energy he was bringing to the comedic, you know what I mean, platforms that he was getting on. The stuff right. that he was doing, it was joyful. I used to, I, and you know, you got, he would have been more like a country Wayne or somebody. Mm -hmm. He was already working toward that. His right. YouTube and stuff, all that stuff was going, right now would have flourished if he'd have been able to oh, be yeah. here. Be because he was right already now. headed in that right direction. Right. He had the following, he had the momentum. So, mm -hmm. you know, the thing, um, that you can rest assured on when you look at a a, a, a cheating ass Myron or if you look at a Bubba Dub that was on here the other day right. or if you look at a country uh, oh, yeah. country know. Wayne yeah. you know what I'm saying they or, 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 or Jordan Jackson any of those guys the uh, the, the the Jesse McDonald's he you came know before uh, I yeah, yeah yeah he was especially in Dallas we was. On Roy Lee in 2014, right. you know what I mean. We in 2021, so he been doing it with his phone, just like all those cats was doing mm -hmm. way back then. And uh, he, it's not a celebrity. Like when he passed, um, Pharrell made a big post about wow. it. Wow. Uh, Offset. Uh, wow. All this in the documentary too. Wow. Uh, who else? Uh, you know Boosie, of course. Right. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, Ken Fo, he won. He won. Uh, he he was big. He was big time, and he just needed the right part. To, to really set him off like Chris Tucker or, you know what I mean, just get out of here with one of those roles. If he got to play an old man or something, you know how, how yeah. Roy Lee do his, his thing, he going to knock that out the Did park. he have Some children? Kind of, yes, he had five kids. Five and kids. And that's what we're doing this for, you know what I mean? Man, that's dope. 70% uh, of the proceeds, the proceeds go to the kids. Is going to the kids. And yeah. that's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and know what I mean? That's things that I'm, I'm big on in my community. And, Supposed uh, to be. That's another reason why I did this, because I know him and I know it's what he's facing. Yes. So I'm like, we got to generate some money to get him. You know what I'm saying? Get these kids some shoes. Man, and, what you and talking? get this thing going. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, man, that's dope. 
I uh I do his memorials every year and bring yeah. out uh you know last year we brought our brother BNX okay and uh shout out BNX man yes, brother sir. BNX shout out brother with BNX. the nation of Islam huh mm -hmm. yes sir yes sir and uh you know OGU always uh OGU. Me and, and stomp and, down and yeah that, I, they the reason why I'm here today you oh know yeah that, yeah that, OGU those, uh, shout out to Corey and what's that boy name y'all Bruce, Wayne. I, Bruce, Bruce Wayne, Wayne you didn't invite me to the party though <laughs> yeah nigga I heard about the party you ain't been oh, on yeah. my platform yet I joined the group I'm calling you out right now uh make sure you tune into this one yeah. um I'm, I'm trying to figure out when you're coming yeah, Corey, yeah. give him the call. I'm yeah, right here. That's somebody that y'all need to talk to. Man, I love hard, call. man. It's called Boss Talk 101. It's so very much called Boss definitely. Talk 101, where the boss is talk. Yeah, so what yeah. did you used to do before you started doing this, career-wise? Uh, career-wise, I was uh, doing comedy shows. I started booking Roy Lee for comedy shows. Hey. We were doing that uh, about three, four years before uh, mm -hmm. he passed. Okay. And... Um, we we led to the documentary. I got it. Now. What, hold on. What what um inspired you? Because I know that people say, "Oh, you should do a documentary. You should do a documentary." Mm -hmm. But what? Because people talk. And mm -hmm. but what inspired you to just get up and do it? Uh, just knowing the situation. Uh, or did someone actually come to you and say, "Hey"? No, no, no. I mean, uh, just knowing the situation, that uh, knowing the the the, t the pulse of the city, and knowing what he was going through. I knew that this would be something we could put put out that the public would like. They'll, mm -hmm. uh, they'll dig it. So uh, I just said, I think he need to have a documentary. Um, we trying to get him a, a flavor on exotic pop. Uh, that'll be uh, coming out pretty mm -hmm. soon here. Give me and, um, Go ahead. On exotic pop. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's Who the owner of that? Uh, I'm not sure who the owner is. Because that thing's jumping. Every time it's everywhere. Them old boys bring them cups now. by here. Exotic <laughs> Pop. If y'all want to sponsor right. Boss Talk 101, <laughs> we looking to try to, uh, yeah, get some get some sponsors on here, right? Mm -hmm. right we'll rock right. with them. We'll rock with them. Right. You ain't seen nobody else stuff in here right now, Exotic Pop. You might ought to holler at yeah, me. I don't know who the owner is. <laughs> but uh, check me out, man. It's they going down. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's what I thought. All I want to do is just keep his name alive. You know, mm -hmm. keep I think you're doing a great job. And Yeah, yeah. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. And uh, he got five kids, and um, we want to make sure. How old are they? Uh, Reese, oh, well, uh, Jacob is the oldest. He 18, uh, Reese is 14, and then he got three babies. They like three years old and two years old. Yeah, wow. Three and four, yeah. three and four, yeah. Wow, they was very young when he passed. Yeah, yeah, they had, they had two twins and, and a daughter. The twins was born in January, the, the uh, daughter born in December, so they all was the same age for a few seconds. Wow. Like, mm -hmm. They all won when he died wow, and stuff like that. Wow, that's this. crazy. So, yeah, yeah, that's, that was real sad and unfortunate. So It very much you know, was. It takes somebody to uh, step up, man, and, and kind of make something happen, and uh, mm -hmm. that's basically what I did. What you did. You know what I mean? And um. I've been doing a lot of good stuff in the community as far as voter registrations and voter, mm -hmm. voter education and stop the violence events. So by the time this happened, I was moved to go ahead and do right. it. Uh, like what you was, we, what we were speaking about before the interview started, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, a, I'm originally from Oak Cliff, but okay. East Side representative, 4,400. Yeah, Already. You see the, I see the red hat. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got yeah, 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 niggas so. banging, man. Watch these niggas, man. <laughs> So, I love you guys. <laughs> with that being said, though, my street or, or the, the the street, Collins Street, where I'm from, it's a lot of uh, negativity. You know, okay, I mean, drugs and and all this kind of stuff. Uh, I was born in 1980, so I'm a, a product of that that, that that crack era. That kind yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, you know where everybody lived with their grandma because your mom and dad in these streets. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Uh, when I see his kids going through uh, what they're going through without their father. That just moved me to do something. You know what I man. mean? So I think that's I, I think that's stand up, man. I think it's so stand up that you would even, you know, uh put something together like this. And I know he's he's looking down on you and he's proud. He, right he, you would have to be because you're doing this something from your heart, you know. Right on, and right his on. kids definitely gonna they're gonna look at you as unk. You know, they call oh, me yeah. unk. They you know, I'm do. old, yeah. you know. <laughs> unk. You know what I'm saying? You unk now. Right on. You know what I'm saying? Right on. <laughs> but how definitely. hard was it uh, emotionally mm -hmm. to do this um film? Um yeah, it was real hard. Yeah. Uh, it was a lot of crying. It was a lot of uh, laughing, too, throughout the film. But, you know, when we interviewing his mama, his baby mama, and uh, we got the car he was shot in, and it still got bullet holes in it, and it, it was real tough. In some, some moments, it was tough to making this. You know what I mean? Uh, it was a guy who was in the hospital uh, with him 
when he got shot. And mm-hmm. they talk about when Mo3 and Rainwater got there and what all was being said. Because, uh, um, you know, they think that, uh, the other, we know what they think. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, yellow bees and all that old type stuff. Right. But this is a, a deep, deep conversation that they had between Roy Lee and Mo3 right then and there. And it may give you a little clue on why Mo3 started acting the way he started acting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, it was a lot of, lot of, lot of sad moments and, and tough moments. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I remember it was raining one time when, when we was filming. And, and right when they was talking about Roy Lee dying, it started thunder, thunder. It wow. was just real, wow. like, it was crazy in there. I hope <laughs> yeah. you left all of that on the film. Well, <clears throat> We couldn't get the thunder in, in there, but <laughs> we all in the room. You had to be in the room. It to was, even understand. It was like, wow. Because that would have been a cool moment to have all of that in there when that happened. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> but, um, you know, when I think about what you what, what you what you represent doing this, man, you're putting a staple in the history of what happened in, in Dallas, Texas, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, it, I, you know, we have to capture these moments, man, especially for the kids. Um when you even look at uh, Mo3 uh, untimely demise, uh, somebody will have to end up putting a budget behind doing something for that as well. Right. Because right. you want to you want to depict these things, these things that happened for for not for not only for the people but for their children. Right. Because Most these good. guys was monumental in the city. Right. And um, I think this is something that you have to do if you are part of those camps or any time you've been a part of the legacies that was being that was happening in real time, then you got to try to find a way to capture the moment. That's what this is about. Right. And it was about both that for those me. guys work so hard. So you want to give them their flowers. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't make it to the point they wanted to, but we want to... Uh, you know, we want to make 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 sure that we look at them as legends for the rest of our time here. And I think moments like this uh, make us like Houston and like Atlanta. We getting our our, our, our own little culture going yeah. on. Yeah, we hate to see here. it happen this yeah. way. Yeah, I hate to see it happen this way. But this is what's going but on. If it does happen, we have to go ahead and document everything. And I agree. Therefore, uh, we we when the time is is when the time has come to tell a Dallas story. We have it all there. Correct. You know and, I mean? and but not only so. that, but for those kids as well, who at one years old when he passed away may not even remember him, right. you know, or don't right. know him, so to say. Right. To be able to look back on this and, and hear the story of his life. Most definitely. Most That's an amazing definitely. thing to have for them. Very amazing yeah. thing. Yes. Uh, yes, so ma'am. do you do you, give me a story, a, 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 a moment in time that. And, and it ain't got to be something that's in the documentary so, or either a saying a catchism, something that Roy, Roy Lee would say to you. Roy Lee, I hear a lot of catchy sayings. Something that he would say to you. <laughs> something he would say to me. <laughs> um, he would always try to tell me to uh, be careful of who I surround myself with. Okay. You know what I mean? By me being from where I'm from and what I got going on, sometimes I may be around the wrong person. Yeah. And he would always try to uh tell me, hey man, you got you 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 got so much going on. You a good one. We don't want to see nothing happen to you. You know, watch who you be around. You know what I mean? So that's one thing that I can remember from Roy Lee that wow. we, that would that we would talk about. Wow. Time yeah. Time. He, he said, "Why do you yeah. watch the surroundings now because yeah, of what yeah. he said?" Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Most and, definitely. And I know I, you. And I know you do. Yeah. I uh, I didn't slow down a whole lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you know, I I don't even be in the same places I used to be. In, yeah. So, yeah. You know. That's so, probably so. why it was so hard to get him on the show. Exactly. <laughs> but, <laughs> but so do you? Um. So what? What do you think? Um. About where things are today in Dallas, Texas? Um, I, I feel like it's, it's, it's sad. The, the, the killing and the, and the negativity that we got going on got to stop out here. So that's, that's one of the things that I'm really looking at and sad to see more yeah. than anything. You yeah. know? So that's, but, uh, you know, um, do, you, do you feel like uh, there's something that, like I said, we talked a little bit before, you know, I was looking more at like, leadership somebody to staple the community to where 
people mm-hmm. understand that this is, hey, man, you can't do this because such and such. Name. You know, they putting it down right. for the city so Somebody tough. Somebody can stand up. Right. You see what I'm saying? I, I think we all need you, to you see what I'm saying? down with urban specialists and OGU. I, I think I, that, I'm, that I'm, I'm a me member. A I'm a member. Right on. Me, myself. Are you a member? Yes. Okay, okay. What you talking about? We locked <laughs> in. We yeah, won. We in. won. If he's a member, I'm a member. Hey. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. I love but, what those uh, guys bring to the table, yeah, too. Yeah, they, they definitely... Uh, or uh, people I think about whenever I think about uh, doing anything or saying anything sideways or negative and things, and I don't want to do nothing to tarnish the brand. So yeah, you know I always try to keep myself in line. We Pastor definitely Omar try to. And yeah, you know, Bruce Wayne and you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to uh, uh, Anita Joa. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she been on here too. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. She been on. Yeah, we That's love hard, saying. man. Yeah. So I let me to her ask you. Accident. So when you think about an organization that is out here to help people, mm-hmm. um. And we're all human beings. Sometimes we think about doing things that we shouldn't be doing and so forth because, you know, right. people get under your skin, you know, right, you react, right. whatever. Right. Is Do you consider, like, if you find yourself in that position, do you pick up the phone and call somebody and say, hey, this is, you know, talk yeah. me out of this or da-da-da-da? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what they, that's what OGU, Corey, Bruce Wayne, uh, it's so many of them. Big Milk, they all yeah. there for that. And uh, if you're going through something, you definitely can call them, and uh, they'll talk you off their ledge for sure. Man, yeah. <laughs> say that, say that. You know. I see the star. Is that for the Cowboys? Uh, nah. What's going ain't. on? Is that banging? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, that's 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 a five star for some more uh, stuff. That oh. ain't just really. <laughs> 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 they ain't for the Cowboys. I love it, man. I'm sure a lot of people ask you that. Yeah, yeah, they no, because they, they, they don't that, know. No, no, I, 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 I had an idea. Knew, no, you yeah, know, he's mad. He mad. He mad. He fucking him. But what I want to know: How much does it cost to do a film like you're doing? Uh, around twenty five thousand dollars, and he got it because he's yeah. from Dallas, nigga. We got money 000. down here. <laughs> <laughs> that's not. Yeah. That's not. That ain't that bad. bad. Right. No, because you be thinking that's more that. on the lower level of doing it. But I, I think that I was able to get it for that price because I know everybody that right. I'm, that I'm dealing with. I know real life street stars way before we even got to we when we was in the streets. Right, you know what right, I mean? Right. Yeah. So. Uh, I've I, I been knowing uh, Jeff Adair for a while. Uh, Roy Lee is very close with Jeff Adair. Right. So I think everybody kind of gave me the player price. But do you, you have know? to pay people to interview you them? You deserve it after all these years, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Did you have to pay anybody yes. to interview them? Uh, well, no, not, not interview them. I actually did the interviewing. Right, so, right, right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because uh, I wasn't sure myself. if anybody, you know, because I'm trying to figure out what the budget went towards. I know the filming. Filming, editing. Um, editing. Yeah. Mainly uh, that. Sites and like different locations if we going uh to a Lorenzo hotel uh mm-hmm. that was one of the sites and just different places like that would make the price of the fee. Okay, cuz I didn't know if anybody would be like, "Oh no, you can't talk to me unless you're going to pay me." You <laughs> nah. know how some people might yeah, be. Right, That's right. why I was wondering. Nah, nah, nah. It, it didn't go like that. It was very smooth and and mm-hmm. uh uh organized. I feel like Jeff Adair and and Joker from uh Real Life Street Stars uh, they they had everything taken care of That's pre good. pre pre tent before we started shooting. We we had a conversation of what to expect and what we wanted to happen. So once we started shooting, they were very good about just getting mm-hmm. it done. And the reason why I asked that because you never know who might be watching. Somebody out here might want to be a film director. Right, hit them Might want to know yeah. how to you know because people are procrastinators. <laughs> right, right, and right. Sit down and be thinking about it for a very long time and be like, right. you know how you shoot yourself down. Right, you'd be like, man, that's gonna be expensive, man. This, this, this and not realize right. that it is attainable for you to do it because you have no experience in it. But yes, you had the um, the connects that helped right. you. Right. So, if somebody did want to start doing what you're doing, are you open for somebody hitting you up on Instagram or reaching oh, yeah. out to you and say, hey, bro, can yeah. you help me get into this business? Oh yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Hit me up and uh, we'll make it happen. Uh, Where can they find you? Hit me on Vincent Grind on Facebook or King Grind on IG. And uh, just inbox me and I respond. You know okay. what I mean? But he don't come right away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out it to that boy Vincent because he busy. It might take me a few weeks. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
right. we was in L.A. when I called you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Doing the, uh, uh, Rick Rowe. Uh, yeah, yeah, interview. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was okay. way out there. Right on. I was like, man, I got to get him when I get back. And, oh, yeah. But God made that happen. It's, it's in God's timing. Right. See, a right. lot of times people be trying to think they know what they're doing. Or I'm going to do this. or I'm going to do that. But at the end of the day, man, you, you, yo, yo. It's already written how we're going to do it, when we're going to do it, and when we're going to leave this earth. You right. know, and I think a lot of times people get so caught up on their own agenda that they forget that it's written. Right. So we can't take life for granted. We can't purposely say, hey, we're going to do this or that without saying, hey, man, uh, if it be God's will. You know yeah, what I'm saying? <laughs> so. That's what I always base everything on. Yeah, on yeah. So, so East Dallas, how was it coming up as a kid for you? Oh, it was kind of rough. I mean, you man, had that uh, money. Was you was you bred it up? Did you was nah, you getting that crack money? Nah, nah. I you wasn't you wasn't on uh, uh, well, like well, the boys say, young, just, uh, selling them hubbards. Yeah, you know yeah. What I'm when saying? I was a young, so we started selling drugs probably about fourteen, fourteen. Oh yeah, but we weren't really getting no real money. You know, what I'm saying? yeah, we yeah, 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 yeah. And things, but uh, I think the money thing came for me later on, probably about twenty three. I got at twenty three. Yeah, when I got well, out of prison, well, oh, you I really, really got to it then. Yeah, yeah. Because you had time to think. He like, man, when I get back out, nigga, I'm gonna go. Yeah, 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 yeah. These niggas in trouble, nigga. And I know what to do to come up on this one. Right, right. What happened? Well, we had a good run by seven, <laughs> eight years. <laughs> and the FBI came. So, you hey, know, they stopped the alphabet boys. Yeah, they're going to stop you from doing everything. That's what they so. do. Yeah, they started, uh, 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 you know, locking people up around me that, to where I knew I would have to uh, either start dealing with people I did not know yeah. or uh, go ahead and sit down. And, and, and you decided out. to sit down and let yeah, it go. Yeah, yeah. My pops talked to me. He was, he was, he's a well-known hustler. You know, been doing this for years. He didn't want to see nothing he happen. Was like, to hey, you. man, this ain't this your this your exit point. You know what I'm saying? So that's I, good that he said that because some people, some dads, especially in the business. Would be like, nah, you just got to do this. You got to do that. Right, right. Yeah. So I thank God that he did that. Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, I had daughters at that time, too. Yeah, so that, that make a that, difference. That, that make a difference. You know what Any I mean? Any sons? No, nah, no. Nah. But uh, I had some <laughs> daughters, and I just uh, didn't want to uh, have them go through the things that I saw young girls, young go, girls through going through when I was out there in them streets. Yeah. So, uh, that that made me sit down. That was a wake up call. You That's know, yeah, 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 yeah. So I said, uh, I, I sat on the castle. But at that time, I made the girl, my girl that I'm with now. You know, my baby mama. Yeah. I, I made her get a job. Wow. And she wasn't working, and uh, I made her get a job. I sat on the castle about a year, man, and got my thoughts together and and got me a job. Wow. And, uh, I started at this little call center called Teleperformance and worked up to be a supervisor. Listen, in like man, five years. That's you know real I mean? boss talking. <laughs> yeah, and that, yeah, that's, that's another kind yeah, of boss. That's talk, a whole you know different know I mean? level of a boss talk because yeah. that means you changed and conformed right there. Right. You knew it was time to change after you had the conversation with the right person. Right, your right, dad. Right, and man, that's dope, man. And, and you know, I've already had been to prison, so yeah. I knew when they kissed me this time, I'm finna go do some time. Some time. And it's good that so. she supported you by going to get that job, and she did. She didn't. Fuck or nothing like that about well, it. Well, she fussed a little bit because her, her, her lifestyle changed. That's so right. Some things she wasn't just But y'all still with. together because, now. But yeah, yeah we still. No, that's, we, that's what I was she, thinking. Yeah, she hung in there with When it. I thought about, you know what I thought about when he said that? I thought about Powell, how Tasha, she was like, no, you better get back out in the street. What you talking about get being <laughs> right. legit? Right. No, you better get back out there. I mean, nah, she, I, we had got to the point where we was doing so much illegal stuff to where she was scared that police was following her and different things. Yeah, paranoid. And I'm like, you ain't even doing nothing. What they gonna be following you <laughs> yeah, for? Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. So <laughs> whenever that time came, she was ready. She was like, yeah, man, I'm gonna get a job. You need to get out the streets. It's, it's too That's much, good. you know what I mean? So I wanna go back into a little bit of, just a little bit, a touch on uh, your first time going to prison. Mm -hmm. What caused you to go to prison? Oh, uh, I I went on a probation violation. They but, get you like that every yeah, time. They yeah. said that was the setup. I, yeah, you like I shouldn't have took that probation. Right, right. I should have went on took some time. Justification. I could have got you. I had a pistol charge, uh -huh. and, uh, and I ended up violating that, and they took me. You know they what I mean? You. They they put on me a, a escape charge as well. But I ain't escaped from jail. No, no, no. no. They put it on you though. Yeah, they did. Damn. So, <laughs> so, did you fight so, it? Uh, no, nah, it's still on me now. It's on yeah. my record now. So they and, uh, think you a rabbit when they yeah. stop you. Oh, yeah. So oh, that nigga run. Just stop the, that nigga will run. I have, yeah. short, I have short years, and I, they put me in there with the lifers, man. I was like, yeah, because, yeah, because, because you remember the uh, Texas 7 or Texas 5? Yeah, 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 I remember, yeah. So they changed up everything right when I hit up in there and talking about <laughs> if you will escape or you have escaped, y'all going together. So how, what made them think you escaped? Yeah. What made them think that? 
Well, man, they oh, just, hell. They just said, you know what? Well, when a nigga lean back, you know what I'm saying? When a nigga lean back, when he lean back, it's, when he it's a lean long story back, to it, but I, I just say Summarize I ain't do it. it. You know what I mean? I ain't do it. The nigga lean back. I said, well, you it's know, a long story I never get on life. You, you know, uh, old boy say, uh, yeah, that's a whole lot. He say, uh, what do you think about this retirement home? And old boy told, uh, Claude told him, say, man, it's a whole lot better than where I'm going to end up in my time at. Right. <laughs> and, he, <laughs> and he say, he say, and tell him when you're innocent, he say, everybody, Claude, everybody, everybody in here everybody think they're innocent. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. But and that, I think that movie came out right when I when I was coming home. And I, I, I used to watch that all the time. I watched it now. Yeah. Watch it all all I love time. it, man. Yeah, that's one of uh, Eddie and, and Martin funniest uh, if I get, if I pieces catch of work. It, I'm watching it. If I oh, catch yeah. it on TV, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to sit watch down. That. Yeah, yeah, I got to watch it. I got to watch it. <laughs> so, sure. um, top three artists all time, dead or alive. We still going to do that. Used to rap. Top three artists, dead or alive. Number one. My top artist got to be Tupac. I got to have There he is right behind you on the wall, oh, yeah, baby. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, Tupac. Yeah, Tupac. Yes, sir. Tupac. Number two. Then I got to go. I got to be a uh, uh, Any Texas. genre. Any genre. I got to be a Texas boy and go with Pimp C. I got to. <laughs> You know I gotta have. I want nah, him nah, to be nah, one. Don't really. look over that way like that. <laughs> Say, let me tell you something, man. <laughs> Any nigga that come on this platform is saying Pimp C, and you ain't gotta be mad at me. Right. I ain't telling <laughs> these niggas to say it. It is what it is yeah, because man. at the end of the day, that man yeah, held it down for the South, yeah, man. Yeah, he the king. And you ain't <laughs> not gonna get around that. Period. No, you man, in Texas, yeah. And that, and that's why I come out rock so hard for him because I know ain't no nigga on the East Coast, ain't no nigga mm-hmm. on the West Coast, mm-hmm. ain't no nigga None gonna rep, give nigga that nigga his his yeah. his roses like we gonna do it, right? Because right, it was right. one hundred, and right. he did it for the whole South, right? Right. So right. what what what's your favorite Pimp C song? See see that's all I need to know. Uh, what, the, I, our album. I got so many Pimp C songs. So I go with Riding Dirty. Ooh, cool, that's that one right yeah, there, yeah, boy. Yeah, that's murder. That's, <laughs> you know, that's that one, Bun B brother still in jail yeah, or what? Yeah, God yeah, damn. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. That, that was hard, man. That was hard. Who's your number so, three? <laughs> <laughs> My number three artist, I gotta say, if I don't wanna be biased, I gotta say uh Biggie Small. Gotta, gotta get Biggie to you gotta, gotta get Biggie. He was bad So so boy. so you didn't even, you ain't listen to that Jay Z. Nah, I wasn't feeling like that. I, you know what? <laughs> See that? There it go again. There <laughs> <Yeah>. go. <laughs> no niggas. These Texas niggas are not, <laughs> not Jay. 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 Yeah. They, nah, these Texas yeah. niggas don't really want to, they, you know, they'll listen to you on the radio. Yeah, yeah, that's the only time. We listen but to you ain't putting them in the dead. Yeah, we ain't trying to. And you a real stomp down rapper. You, yeah, you, you used to rap with that, what's that boy name? Uh, my Dougie. Lil Will. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You rock yeah. out with Lil Will oh, before? Yeah, yeah, I rock with Lil Will. Yeah, you might know my cousin, Young Zeke. Young Z, Young Z used to rap back in the days. He was with Come Together I, Records. We said him. I gotta check him out. He, he still do a little bit. He got Zeke TV. Shout out to Zeke TV. He got a TV series going on. Yeah, I need to link y'all up. I, I used to rap before Lil Will and them though. I was like in the late oh, 90s. Oh, you was yeah. Nemesis almost. Yeah. No, nah, Nemesis well, before well, that nigga. He was before Look, me. Mr. Luch and them. Uh, right before Mr. Luch and them. Yeah, yeah. You was right. Who was yeah. hot outside of you though? Yeah, uh, in Dallas. Nigga, that, uh, Gator, man, nigga, Gator, Gator Man, nigga, 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 Gator Man went hard. Gator for Man us. went hard. I've been looking for that nigga. I want that nigga on this show. Right, I'm gonna find him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need that nigga on this show yeah. bad. That's my boy I'll right send there. Him inbox and let him yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I gotta have him, man, because yeah. he. He just he he a pioneer that people don't really. I love that flowers. nigga, man. Yeah. Love that nigga. Yeah. Love what he man. I can word for word that song, boy. That mm. one, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the ones that it, even the facts of life. You don't even know, man. I think my last uh, mixtape I was working on, uh, Gator Man used to come through there a lot. He Did was he working on something? Where y'all was? What studio? Uh, we was at Black Town Studio. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah out there in the north. So. Out in the north. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so you know. it was yeah back then that that was Zeke's era too. Uh, who else? You say Gator Man. I'm trying to figure out who else was. You say them, them DSR boys, Fat, yeah, ba- fat, just, fat Bastard. Fat, fat Bastard, them had just started doing their thing. Boy, we them niggas were dropping. I done rocked the block. Yep, yep. Bam, when I hit the bam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I ate it, and it popped. You know what I mean? Yeah, they had that <laughs> style nigga, that, flow, that, was, that was the first that was, style. Yeah, yeah, that was the style, though, at that time. <laughs> oh, they <laughs> were killing that, though. Yeah, then, yeah. And, you know, uh, Mike Jones came through and sauced that hoe up, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike Jones, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that was because he came him and uh uh what was that old boy name uh uh um uh, 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 uh Slim Thug no the one was on there with 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 Mike Jones at first 
Oh, uh, Mano, Mag, Magnificent? Yeah, is it uh, Mano? Is it Mano? It, it, it's Magni- yeah. it was something Yeah, I, it might have been Magnificent. It, yeah, 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 it went on. Uh, 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 got drank, then pour <laughs> it up. Yeah, <laughs> Clay <laughs> Masin, <laughs> then throw it up. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember yeah, that. I love, man, yeah, I love that music, man. Saying, and man. then you said something. Houston did go through a phase where you seen uh, you seen Fat uh, Fat Pat die. You seen right. Ed get shot. You seen uh, um, what's the uh, other Hulk? Uh, Hulk, Hulk, Hulk got Hulk killed. Yeah. You Pat know they uh, had their DJ Screw DJ died. DJ Screw you know, died. They went through a Mello, lot of Big yeah. Mello, uh, yeah. Big Mo. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they went through a lot of the same phase. Man, and mm-hmm. I just, you know, a lot of families, man, missing some spots, and 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 this is something that happens in the rap industry. Mm-hmm. I'm being yeah. real. Yeah, this happens, and we have to be, we have to be strategic with what we say. Exactly. Yeah. See, back in the days, we didn't say everything. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Right now, these niggas point the gun at the camera. Yeah. They got <laughs> yeah, niggas got smoking on Draco's, on, on your dick, smoking on, 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 on Tuki, all, all kind of stuff. I got yeah. one more question to ask you about documentary, too. Okay. Um, Puka Lira had a video with with him in it as well. Mm-hmm. Did Was that even depicted on there or no? Uh, no, that wasn't okay. depicted. But you remember that, that video, but, right? Yeah, I did. I, I tried to reach out to Puka Lira, I couldn't get a hold of him. Okay. Know? Yeah, okay, I did kind of want him to get on the documentary. That would have been dope yeah, yeah, because they they dope. they had a good relationship. Yeah, yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, uh-huh. I mean, you know, Dallas just got a lot of different uh, jewels. Right, right. And a do. lot of times we we might not come together uh, uh, when we need to, and that's a part of the problem. And uh, and that means we need to figure out a way to organize in a way to where when it's time to do something that represents the city. Right. We we, all we put on. all our differences to the side right. and represent the city, man. Right. And if yeah. we mad at each other, we can't be mad at each other that day. That was a lot of uh, pulling teeth uh, when I was making this documentary because a lot of people thought it was about them. And it was wow. really about Roy Lee. It ain't about how you feel. It ain't yeah. about do you like this person or that person. Just if you was Roy Lee partner and something happened to him, I need you here right now. Yeah, you I know got, what I mean? Yeah, I got a little partner named Thudder that used to like him too. Right a on, lot. He right from out of Marshall, Texas. Okay, okay. But he 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 would always say, "Man, I gotta go see." Is he Roy a comedian? Lee. Yeah. Okay, I know who you. Yeah, about. little thudder. That, that, yeah, 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 yeah. He been on my Facebook sometimes. Yeah, he loved yeah. he loved Roy Lee. Okay, man. he do. Yeah, he, even when he, when Roy Lee was buys, living, I remember he was he was always trying to trying to do something to reach out to Roy Lee. And uh, he's a guy who buys several Roy Lee uh, merchandise, yeah. shirts and stuff yeah. from his sister named uh, Lee Lee Daniels. He on keep Facebook. it one hundred, don't he? Yeah, yeah. He he a real good guy, man. Real, yeah, uh, genuine. Guy. My son and him real good friends. They okay. real close. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's he a lot of support online, and uh, I always see him buying a shirt and posting this shirt. Yeah, and new yeah, because he, he really loved him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he used to tell me here at this store when he was living. Yeah, that's yeah. how I know. Yeah, like, I remember yeah, the conversation yeah, yeah. when he'd be coming up here from out of town. He'd be like, Yeah, mm-hmm. man, I'm for the link with Roy Lee. And he was so serious and sincere about it. He really was trying to, you know, get okay. that part together. Yeah. So that's real, man. Yeah, I, I deal with real, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I appreciate that, kid. If it was anything do, uh, that you could do different, man. You know, uh, if, if, if there's anything you could tell your younger self before you took that, I ain't gonna say that, that deferred adjudicate, because he's gonna be like, I'd have told him, don't sign it. Don't sign Go on and take the little time or whatever they're gonna give you and get it <laughs> right. over with. Right. <laughs> I I think excluding I tell, that. Excluding that. <laughs> I think I would tell myself and, and everybody that's young, man, quit worrying about what people are saying or, or quit trying to impress folks so much and, 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 and getting caught up in just the 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 talk of, the, of whatever the talk is right now and 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 just stay focused on your goals you know what that's, i mean that's dope because a lot of us are, are are the minute we get some money we trying to go put some uh put it on the camera or buy some gucci shoes and things and if you save up a few gucci shoes you can invest in a business wow it don't take nothing about four five thousand dollars man you got all that shit on you wow right now so you know uh Bad investment. Bad investments, man. Mm-hmm. You keep you can hustle up on four thousand dollars, five thousand dollars. You can hustle up on a uh, on a down payment, the first first payment to whatever you're trying to build. You know wow. what I mean? So you know they say box trucks ain't number twenty five thousand. That's right real. Now. You see what I'm saying? So you could do something. Well, and, the thing I can, the, I can say is, man, hey, you 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 setting the bar because ain't nobody been doing no documentary and I like that. 
with the with the quality that. that I'm 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 expecting for you. I, yeah. I'm I'm expecting it. You yeah. see my quality, nigga. Right on, Don't right play, on. nigga. <laughs> right you, uh, you in here? Yeah, nigga. Yeah, the camera's right. just on you. Oh, dig. Yeah, <laughs> I feel you. So, so I'm gonna be looking at quality. If you oh, seen yeah. our show, you right. already know how I bring. it. I think uh uh it should be uh trailer y'all can check out, man. It's two trailers online already online. Yeah, online, and we should have a third. All right, one I tell you what, I'm gonna when I put this weeks. out, I'm definitely gonna put out. The trailer the as well. I appreciate you. Yes, sir. And once you see that trailer, go ahead. It's gonna be a wrap on year. that. It's, it's gonna be a wrap, and I ain't talking about the hair do. You gonna definitely want to know? <laughs> yeah, you I'm gonna, gonna know, know that the uh, production is up to par and everything. So, yes, sir. All righty then. Well, hey man, you know we love you, brother. Love you too. And, and love y'all both too. I want and my. I appreciate li- listen y'all. to me. I want my. Uh, I want my tickets. Tickets. Oh yeah, yeah. I already no. emailed, sent you, DM'd you. The, you DM me the, your email. Yes. Okay. All I right, had, so I it's already. Those, I send those to you uh, as soon as I get in the car, and uh, we put y'all on the guest list. Okay? Already, man. Say already. thank you, man, for coming on Boss Talk One Hundred One. No man. problem, man. I thank you, and I appreciate you and your beautiful wife for interviewing. How, how can did he tell how, can, how they could get a hold yes, of them already? Oh, that, yeah. Then we can good. That's all. King Grind. Facebook. Vincent Grind. Already, man. Already. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk One Hundred One. And we out.